Seems like. And I guess that's why they're separated. What the fuck is that? That's number 12 over there. Oh, I see you there, you little sneaky snooper. See that? easier to do the jumping in third person. Maybe there's not anything up there. <laughs> it seems very slippery. Oh, yeah, there's no way. Unless they just want you to... No, these are the slipperiest rocks that have ever been. Okay. Yeesh. here oh <laughs> no sir they said wow just a beautiful game just gorgeous okay a bit of an oasis here we'll look around uh, after this puzzle puzzle number five chain What's the lever do? Whoa! Oh my lord. What the action? <laughs> what? I think this one was showed up, was like a briefly shown in the trailer for this. What the hell? It looks so insane. So, okay, so we just need, all of these need to be activated to open all these little gates, and then that will open the yeah. end. So we have but a, but a lowly refractor to do such. So then this will do... Huh. Is that like meat in the middle-ish? There's 16 of them, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them are red, and then the ninth is white. So what then if I do this? Oh. Okie dokie then. <laughs> Embarrassing how solipsistic I became. I really thought that I could construct my identity without any reference to the outside world. Like I could just will myself into existence. But it just didn't work. And it made me miserable. Everything felt hollow and meaningless. Overshadowed by the idea of death. There was something I wasn't seeing something I needed, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Um, yeah, so this one kind of was just more of like a see what happens type deal, because I, I would have, I, I have no idea how this type of thing behaves, but I'm going to take a screenshot of it. Got a little bit lucky, maybe, although it seemed pretty intuitive to just connect it to the one that was white. Beautiful oasis. Uh, another terminal.
manuscript. Oh. <laughs> One thing that I found when I was replaying was they added these like weird anomaly hologram things to the base game that I hadn't seen. And also, if you are somehow a person who watched my original playthrough, they made the, there was one video where I spent like an hour and a half or something looking for a driller for one of the secret stars, and they made it way easier because there was previously a wall blocking the view of the door that you have to open to get the driller. But now that that wall has massive holes in it and you can see the blue door behind it, you're obviously going to see it and be like, oh, what's that? So, <laughs> just want to say, I did the unnerfed version of that. New QR code. Can't be up on the cliff. Must read. Yeah, so maybe it is like the one flame per area. Oh. Uriel, my dude. Okay, let's head into number six. Puzzle number six, Equilibrium. Oh, hello. What is this? Like glass material. Okay. We need to power the red and the blue. This seems like it's, uh. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to worry that we were meant to be prepared for this puzzle by the previous, and I am simply not. So this will obviously connect everything. So what happens if this... So like, what if I do this? Okay, that does nothing. <laughs> and I can't, I can, all I can do is see through the glass. I can't connect with it. Rip. So yeah, they each are on three of the spinners and they meet in the middle, as you'd expect. But what we want to happen is for this one to be red and for them to meet right here. However, I have no earthly idea how you make that happen. Honestly, I'm going to go back and look at that other one to try and f understand how it works. Because I feel like I'm hopeless, I have, a, I have no hope of figuring it out by looking at that. So, with it off, obviously, okay, so we connect it to the first one. And again, so seven of these are blue, eight of the red one over there are red. So why is that? It's because, oh, you know, it's because this one is actually, like, imagine it was right there. That would be an addition, that would be a 17th. So eight of them are blue, actually, and then they just meet in the middle. So then, when I... Wait, what happens if I just do this only? It's still solved. Okay. So technically, then, it's as if it's starting right here. One, two, three, four are blue. Then one, two, three, four, five are still red. No, this one counts, dumbass. One, two, three, four, five are blue, five are red. So it just meets in the middle. 
half and half. Okay. So for here, what we basically want is to skip one or or add an additional chain link to the blue side. So do this maybe? Yes, that is right, I think. We just do with this one more time. Yes, okay, I figured that out after going back and looking at the other puzzle. I mean, that makes perfect sense to me why that works now. Awesome. This is cool. I, li I like how this is a new take on the lasers. Everything changed when we started spending more time with each other. Do you remember that night when we found the old library in the Dead City? It was just after the stampede and we were all a bit shaken up. Byron read to us from one of the books, and later, you and I started arguing about one of the poems. And your perspective was so different and interesting, and I just kept wanting to hear more. Oh lord, this looks insane. Let's see what we've got. Puzzle number seven, Domino Effects. What does the switch do? Okay, so they, they said, you think you understand? Well, prove it, bozo. So what are the, these are so you, you have to like line it up directly with one. Okay, that makes sense. So I think we obviously want to start with this. And then this we will have. I'm just kind of guessing right now to see what will happen and then we'll adjust. Okay, so we're only missing one here. But if we adjust on in either direction, I feel like it all comes tumbling down around us. Oops, I guess we don't want to maintain connections. Ideally, we would back, we would add an additional link to here, but we can't. Or, no, we can't do that. But there's an extra link on both of these reds. Mm. There's no way for one connector to add to multiple. So this being right here would push it into the red side. Here was the closest. But but even to to even get this to be correct, we'd have to move this two over. Is moving it over one would only make them meet at the connector point. Is that correct? So I think the the one the blues on the far left and right of this red section will meet and be white. Yes, that is correct. So then, if I move this over to the right one more time, oh, this might be. Now that, the blue on the left will be good, and then this will be meeting in the middle on my right. Oh wait, no, I thought this wasn't on the extreme right-hand side, the blue that I have, so that is not correct. So if 
this is here, and then we had carriage wall. So the balance is correct on this right hand side, but on this left hand side it is not correct. So we just move this to the left, and then move the red on the left hand side to the left to compensate. So we move this to here, and then move this to the to here. Okay, I have it backwards. Yeah, yeah, that makes more sense that I have that backwards. Because we, what we want to do is move this to the left, but there's no further left to move. So, what happens if I do this? So that, what was the difference there? I think it moved, I think that did move it one to the left. It did. So that is something we do want. That didn't change anything else, did it? No. So then all, all we want instead now... We want this moved to the left once. Maybe. Right, and this. But this can't move to the right. Like, I'd want this to move to the right, but then the blue is wrong. Wait, then this can just move to the left. One, two, three, three. Yes! Okay, I like these puzzles. They're actually, like, once you understand how they work, you can kind of methodically work through it. And I, re I really like that. That's, aw that's awesome. Yeah, so adding the extra link to this left side by taking it from the other red was the key at the end of the day. You, know, you just had to adjust everything else. Very, very cool. understood the appeal of philosophers who tell us that everything is one. If everything is just a reflection of yourself, an endless hall of mirrors, there's nothing to connect with. And what I realized through our conversations is that everything beautiful happens in that space of connection between one person and another and between people and the world. That gap between us is necessary. Because without it, without separation, there can be no transcendence. Okay. Final puzzle for this section, puzzle number eight. Concatenation. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, so similar-ish setup. What we need is, wow, look at <laughs> So we need all of these to be powered. All three red and two blue. This needs to be held down, and it releases the blue laser. And then in here we have two connectors. Clearly this will need to be done at some point. And then if we just immediately hit the obvious and do this, where does that leave us? I did it. I, I keep getting it backwards. So I, I, I add to where it needs to be removed. So we just... Oh! <laughs> I had a rude awakening there. Ah, this is all you have to do though. Right here. That one, that one I just like, I, I just saw that. Just immediately. And there you go. Yep. So you just add an additional link to the blue chain to back it up one more into the red to allow the red to be finished. Just, just like that, we're done, yeah. So I really liked this, this set of four puzzles. The first one was very simple, but you could look at it to gain an understanding of how these types of things function. 
That was it was very well designed. I gotta say this this set of four was really good. I like that a lot. Once I understood that meaning comes from the interaction of the self with the world, I found it easier to be patient, to be kind. I reminded myself that other people are just like me, and nobody really knows exactly what they're doing. And the more I allowed myself to open up, the more interesting and complex our interactions became, and the more meaningful. Okay, so fifty percent of Cerebi's personality matrix reconstruct. Damn you, Cornelius! I was just about to say that. would have made such a good necromancer. I wonder if we have any more access to files. No. Okay, well, very, very, unfortunately, very sadly, very depressingly, I have to take a, a little break here. But I'll be back as soon as possible to continue. I am loving this so far. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, my favorite game series of all time, easily, I think. I, I mean, I know a lot of game genres can be, like, divided up, but... If, if it's puzzle games, no contest, and it easily is up there in my top of all time, for sure, as well. So what do we have here? So this will be a full ring completed there, so that's interesting. Okay. I am absolutely, I mean, this is so good. This is so good. All right, I will be back.